We are Anthony and me. We are converting our sitting room really into an off-grid camper van. You should join us on our journey and watch as we work on it over the next few months. We have absolutely no experience so if we can convert a van, you can do it too. Welcome back everyone. I'm um, going to start this video off by saying that we've made a few mistakes. Uh, if you see in the beginning of our last video, you'll realise that we did have some of the walls done and the ceiling done with the spotlights in and the fan cutouts done. Um, we've realised that we went away for a night and we've realised that we need bigger recesses for me to be able to sleep comfortably. We did think we'd get away with it and when you're lying in the van, you don't. we didn't take into account the pillar sizes. So the size of your pillows push you down the bed a little bit and then my feet at the bottom were scrunched up against the wall. So we need to put two recesses in, but bigger, so I'll be needing to cut out the insulation and put them further back. Uh, and then we did want to keep the ceiling because we liked it. And obviously we'd painted it, done the spotlights, fan cutouts, everything was done. We wanted to keep it, but when I come to testing the LEDs, we've realised that they don't work. So we've had to take the ceiling off. So now we've took a few steps back, we're going to do everything properly because we don't want, I'm glad we've realised now rather than in the future. So if you're going to do your van, make sure that you test the LEDs before you do any sort of ceiling or walls or anything. We did test one by one in the garage, but we didn't actually test them when they were all linked up. Um, we don't know how we fixed it, it might have just been a loose wire, we've redone all the connections and now they all work. So now we're back to doing the cladding stage. You can disregard the last video um, and we're just going to take off from there and start fresh from now and we're going to sand and paint before we put the cladding in. Now we didn't last time and we noticed that there was gaps in the paint and it was starting like bits were starting to crack. We made a mess with wood filler. Um, so yeah we're going to prime, uh, sorry we're going to varnish it to keep the natural wood colour rather than the white and we're going to do white walls so the ceiling will stand out so Amy's just walked into the van tripped and kicked all the wire connectors everywhere <laughs> so our carpet's just been delivered here and we've went for the smoke um, we're going to be putting this in all the funky shapes of the van. We were initially going to be boxing it out, but I think we just had a more work on. We've watched loads of van conversion videos and everybody just seems to, with the niggly bits, just carpet it. If in doubt, carpet it. <laughs> That's what someone said. Um, so yeah, we've got the white smoke and just now we've just measured. So the sliding door is going to be like a big L shape. Um, and we've just measured it's 164 what we need to cut lengthways by 187 height so it's going to be a big L so we'll show you in a minute when we're trying to fit it uh, we've never done it before except on the cab shelf so on something what's free to move and stuff this is actually going to be on the beams and the the support of the van so we've given the van a good clean after sanding and taking the roof panels back off and taking the sides off and everything like that everywhere was so dusty so we've given everywhere a good clean, give wires a wipe and everything. So now we're back to a nice clean slate. Um, and we're just about to test the LEDs. And we've got a little 9 volt battery. I know it's not enough power and I know everything should be fused. But that's not going to blow anything. It's just to see that the lights are going to actually work now. Now I'm positive that these are correct. I'm 100% sure now. I'm sure we did it correct first time. But never mind. Here we go. Let's test. Ready? <laughs> Steady. <laughs> yes! Get in! <laughs> we have light! So yeah, I know it's not the best, it's weak, but it's actually getting power to every single light now. And this is the back. All connected para in parallel. Yeah, the in parallel, I think. It, it was December that we did it. But yeah, I'm happy with that. This one's on a separate one. This is for the shower, so it's going to be on a switch, which will be over next to where Amy is. You can test that one as well, hear me? Shower LED. Yay! So now, we've just measured out a rough idea of carpet. And you see this bit? These beams all the way around. Now, why we took the cladding off as well on the wall 
Our cladding ended here and we literally had no idea what we would do after. So we're happy now that everything's off. Yeah, it's wasted money, wasted time, but we need to get back in the swing of working on the van anyway. But yeah, we've just cut out a big square. Um, we're just about to measure the depth and puppies give it a little bit more, mm -hmm. I think. Took it in. Yeah, to tuck in. And we're gonna have a go carpeting all the way to the end, along there, down to the floor. So we'll do a quick time lapse of that now. Probably be on eight hours. <laughs> so this is the carpet that we've cut out. We're gonna take it into the van and see if it fits. Right, so at the moment, we've got the top stuck and it's stuck all the way along here and we've just been cutting out, giving ourselves plenty of room, you can see by the sun, it's a really good guide actually today. So we've given ourselves plenty of room, we've taken our sail off, so we can tuck it behind the sail. Um, I think I've probably cut that too thick, but do you know what, it doesn't matter. Um, you can cut it Yeah, we can just cut into it and cut the shape. And yeah. But we be... were panicking a little bit at first of how the, how it is to work with. But honestly, once you start working with it, it's actually really easy to do. I know a lot of people said that and we thought, yeah, that's what you're seeing. But because everything with the van at the minute hasn't been easy. So Amy's now just pressing it now while we've let the glue set. You can use the end of the scissors, Amy, if you want to yeah. give it a, a solid line. Like score it along. It's not going to damage now, it just, yeah, pull it while you're pressing it in. Yeah, and it's actually, I'm really happy with the way this is coming on. We just thought, we'll give it a shot, we'll jump in, we'll do it. We're not putting it off. <laughs> <laughs> it actually looks really good. Obviously the sailing's going to come to like here or something I think judging by where our cladding was before Might have to cut that again. yeah that corner will need tidying up but that's this is going to have a face on anyway this is just because we can now we're just cutting away more excess trying to because <laughs> obviously we don't want too much going where the sail's going to be I'm actually really happy with the way that's coming on. Just need to obviously crack on the rest of that. But if it's anything like how easy this was, I'm really excited to do the rest. We're going to be doing all around here as well, up the back and all the way down. And instead of building a window frame, we're going to be doing the carpet in here as well. And then we'll get the Vanex curtain reels with the Vanex curtains. Because our shower's going to come to about here. So curtains can just be about there and then pull along. Where the other ones can be wrapped up. But yeah, everything's coming along nicely now. I feel better that we're working on it again. Because we have slacked a lot since December. But we'll get there, won't we? Yeah. So now we have it on this point, working our way down to the floor. We've got a lot of excess each side, but to be honest, you get loads of carpet and we're probably just gonna need another batch anyway. But it's it's better having too much than too little once you start gluing. But we're really happy with the way this is turning out so far. So that's all the carpet lining done. We've stretched it put it around the grooves we took the sail off but that was a bit awkward to get back on because it was kinking in places so Anth had a rubber mallet and he was just gradually going around just knocking it into place and it's all sitting smooth now Um, we've stopped the carpet coming down here because we're going to do it like separately but that's 
the idea of what we've done so far around the sliding door and then we'll do the same on the door that actually opens around the window and then we'll put six or nine mil ply carpeted on these parts and then that's the door done. We are now going to carpet the outside of this window so it'll probably stop about here and it'll come in and we'll take this sail off and tuck it inside there. Now where we're at is we've done all the way around the windows and it's starting to get very tight. We've done all the way around the bottom roughly because like I said it's tight so it's, it's not able to stick. There's just a little lip all the way around which the window sill was on um, and that's what we're going to bend a little bit in with. Probably like half a centimetre because that sail doesn't look like it's got much room inside of it. Um, but yeah, it's really easy to work with this four-way stretch carpet. Um, I'll put links in the description of where we got ours from. So, because I know that in the past a lot of people always ask for what products, where, where we got stuff from, and then I'm looking online and finding it. It'll be better if I just put links in the description. So yeah, there'll be a link in the description below on where we got this four-stretch carpet from. You do get 10 metres, was it? Yeah. And you get five trim adhesive cans, which is this. And it withstands high temperatures, so it is pretty good stuff. I mean, we've done all that side, and then we've done this, and we've still not even used half a tin yet. <coughs> but yeah, we're going to cut on with this. We need to cut a, a slit in the middle, and then work our way around the edges of where we're going to finish it off with. So we've started with a little hole, and then we're going to work our way around. Amy's just getting the glue residue off, some of it went on the window, even though we try to protect it. <laughs> I've got to admit, the window was a little bit more tricky than the slide and door carpet, but we still got there in the end. I think the most trickiest part was this sail, what goes all the way around, putting it over the carpet and the double layers of metal. Uh, this is where we're at at the moment. Um, this is going to be a ply wall down to a window, so... We're not really bothered about the outsides like this. This is not going to get seen. And to be honest, it won't be seen anyways. It's just so the inside has got a nice carpet layer instead of just being the metal with the Reflectix and the foil tape. But we've been busy bees today, haven't we? Yeah, all day. So today we've taken all of our roof and cladding off. We've taken that to the tip. We've got the LEDs to work now because they previously didn't work and we had our roof up, which was a big mistake. We're happy to see that they all work now, which you've seen in the previous clip of today. Um, we've carpeted around the shapes of the van and tomorrow we're going to be carpeting this. Today we're just doing little odd jobs and we're going to finish off the carpeting. So we're going to carpet around all around here. But obviously, if you've watched our videos before, we made the mistake of insulating and foil tape and that. So we've got our plastics, what we kept, and we're going to carpet them but when we've come to put the plastics here, this bit of wood's too far back, so we're just going to take the edges off these. Um, and then we're going to carpet them, carpet all the way around and down. And on the electrics the other night, I just came in and took 10 minutes to um, put the solar wires into the isolator. This just makes them a bit safer as well, because the solar wires were live and they were just in a circle here. Um, so yeah, they're all isolated now and we've just tidied it up a little bit. This can all be tidied up more in future, but for now that's a start on them. At least it's kept them tidy. And these wires, these go from the isolator into the charge controller, but we're not doing that yet because we need more bits and pieces. We need to order more things. So for now, we're just gonna crack on with little odd jobs. And um, this really wouldn't apply to anyone else's conversions. Just little mistakes, but taking a step back on and making sure it's done correctly. Uh, yeah, so I'm gonna take the edges off the nine mil ply on the bottom on both sides. And Amy's gonna start carpeting the plastics. Well done, Amy. What an amazing job she's done of the carpeting. Obviously you've got to trim the excess off. She's done a really good job. We're doing this in two sections um, because I did cut it too short, so we're just going to have a little join here. You can't even notice it on there. 
not sure if you can on the video, but we can't really see it. But really happy with the way this has went. I did take the back door hinges off, and I'm just going to screw them back on soon. Which has done a really good job of this. Sorry for the traffic noise. I'm on a busy road now that we've moved, unfortunately. <laughs> but yeah, we're really happy with that. So now we've got this bit done. Around the window done. And now the back is almost done. I just love the way it takes the shape of the van. It's just really good. Well done, Amy. Thank you. Teamwork as well, obviously I've chipped in. <laughs> For these back door latches, um, we did just carpet over everything rather than cutting out a square and filling it rounded and stuff. Um, and I've just cut holes in with a standing knife and then screwed the screws in. So it looks a lot tidier. This is where we are going to leave today's video. So thank you all for watching. Please hit the like button to support our channel. And if you would like to see future videos, please hit subscribe and the notification bell.